Hey guys, you're probably here because you want to know all about how to stop biting those nails. Well, I'm going to answer that question along with many other questions in this week's Responding to Your Comments, where we look at fun questions, we look at science-based questions, but most importantly, we look at the evidence. Julie Harris, yesterday I said I wanted to have beautiful nails, and then today at college I bit off three of my nails. Please, I need help. Julie, thank you for your comment. I'm going to try my best to give you the most help I can. So for those of you who don't know, nail biting is clinically known as onychophagia, and it's commonly a stress-related or nervous-related problem in children and adults. And it involves biting the nail plate, the soft tissue underneath it sometimes, and also the cuticles around it. So let's begin with some of the problems that you can get from nail biting. First of all, if you're biting your nails and swallowing your nails, it can put you at a higher risk of getting stomach infections. And secondly, by biting your nails, you're at a higher risk of getting fungal and bacterial infections on the, under the nail, around it, and these can be very painful and not very pretty to look at. This can also cause complications like cellulitis or nail dystrophy, where the structure of the nail plate can change and it can be a different color, and again, it's not very pretty to look at. Now you can also get things like that root resorption, this is where the root of your tooth breaks down and is absorbed by your body. You can also put yourself at higher risk of intestinal parasitic infections just by biting your nails. You can also put yourself at higher risk of getting temporomandibular joint pain and dysfunctions. So I'm now hoping you see just how serious some of the complications are from this little tiny habit of biting your nails. So now that we know that, Let's look at how you can stop or break the habit of biting your nails. So let's begin with the first thing, which is probably the easiest, most simple thing that everyone can do, and that is just to clip your nails short, keep them nice and trimmed, and this is gonna reduce the temptation to bite your nails. The next thing that I recommend, which is probably one of the most important things in my opinion, is to find and identify the root cause of biting your nails. Because if you don't find the root and stop it from the root, you're probably never gonna break the habit. So the most important thing that I would recommend Everyone has one of these in their pocket. Keep a log. Keep a log of every time you bite your nails, what you were doing, where you were, write as much information as possible on it. And over time, review those notes because you may find the correlation of a stressful scenario that's causing you to bite your nails. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna change your behavior to those stressful scenarios and hopefully stop biting your nails. Now, depending how comfortable you are with your friends and family, they can also be really useful at helping you stop this cycle and habit of biting your nails. So make them aware that you're trying to stop and tell them to inform you that you're biting your nails, stop. They could be really helpful because sometimes you might not even notice that you're biting your nails. Another tip that's really helpful is carrying a small nail clipper with you. You can carry it in your pocket or your bag, wherever. And the reason for this is that eventually you're gonna have one rogue nail that's a bit longer than the other ones and it's gonna be on your mind. And if you are a nail biter, you're gonna keep going for it. But then what do you do? Pull out that nail clipper, quickly give it a clip, and that's it, cycle broken. Now an effective alternative to overcoming the problem of nail biting is carrying a rubber piece with you. So whenever you get the urge to bite your nails, you can bite on this rubber piece. It can be quite helpful. Now if your nail biting isn't compulsive, you can also try some sugar-free gum. This is quite effective at helping keep your mouth occupied. Some patients have asked me in the past about those bitter nail preparations that you put on your nails that help you stop biting them. My advice on them is, Yes, they do work for some people, but I think for a lot of people, they're not gonna work. Because like I said at the start of the video, you need to find the root cause of your nail biting. Once you find that cause, you can change the way you react to those stressful environments or whatever it's causing the nail biting to kick the habit out. If you don't find that cause, just think about it. How long do you plan on using this preparation? Please also remember that if you are really struggling with nail biting and you just can't stop or break the habit, speak to your healthcare professional. Speak to them so they can investigate further and find out exactly what is going on. Thank you for the comment, Julie. I really hope my tips help you and anyone else who's watching. And also, if you guys have any of your own tips, leave a comment below because I'd love to read it and I'm sure everyone else watching this video would love to read it too. Now, let's move on to the next comment. Pamela Jerusek, hi Mr. Pharmacist. Wow, I am 72 years of age and just now I am learning how to use a nose spray. Good to know. Pamela, thank you for your comment. This is from the how to use a nasal spray video and this proves to show that we're always learning. At any age, we are always learning and I've said it before and I'll say it again. I love YouTube for this very reason that my video is being shown to everyone, so many people around the world and they're learning new things from it and it makes me so happy when I get comments like this and that's why I love to share them. Sending you all awesome vibes, Pamela, 
Especially you, sending you awesome vibes. Adam Rakilman, that intro, and then there's a timestamp. Adam, thank you for your comment. This is from the How to Lose Weight video with exercises from a study done in Oxford. Adam, I am so happy that you commented this because not many people comment about that intro. And it really upsets me because we did like this awesome edit where I like teleport into the scene right at the start of the video. And I feel like not a lot, either a lot of people don't notice it or they're just not commenting about it. But I do think people on YouTube notice things because they have a very keen eye for detail. But if you haven't seen that video, let's quickly look at that teleportation scene and let me know what you think below. Welcome to episode two of how to lose weight and belly fat with the help of science. Part one, we were looking at dietary advice. Part two, we're looking at simple exercises that everyone can do at home to help shrink those waistlines. Strix Gaming, what does three sets of 10 mean? Please reply. Strix Gaming, thank you for your comment. This is from the how to lose weight video, all about exercises that you can do from a study done in Oxford. And we've had quite a few comments like this, so I'm just gonna give you a quick explanation of what sets and reps means. So imagine I was doing bicep curls, and I said to you do 10 reps. So that's 10 bicep curls, right? So by doing three sets of it, you're gonna do it 30 times in total. I hope that helps. So it looks like we've run out of time again in this week's episode of responding to your comments. If I didn't get back to your comment or question, I am really sorry, but we are getting so many comments these days, it is quite difficult to get back to everyone. So the best advice I can give all of you is keep on leaving those comments and eventually I will get back to you. That's the end of the video. Always remember you're awesome and I will see you next week. Hey guys, thanks for watching this week's video. Make sure to click that like, follow or subscribe button now to stay up to date with new weekly videos.